<laughs> okay, welcome to another episode of Objectively Put. And as we discussed a few seconds before this came on, this shirt makes my shoulders look huge. It looks like there's just a head popping out of this red thing. So, um, Where are your shoulders aren't as huge. My shoulders aren't that big. It looks like I'm hanging up in the closet. So, this month's package is from, um, I haven't opened it yet, but it says the Emerald of the Equator. My guess is that it's from Ecuador, only because Ecuador is on the equator and it sounds like Equator. I'm pretty sure that's where the name came from. It's all, it's all ships from California, like, <laughs> but like the food is from the original spot. So, that's my guess. You have any guess? No. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have an imagination. You don't need an imagination to say Ecuador. So, I was wrong. This month is from Indonesia. Indonesia, Indonesia, Indonesia. Thanks for joining us. And with it being from Indonesia, again, oh my goodness, it got black. Again, um, it comes with a booklet, as always. And it's, and every month, I make the same promise. I won't read it. Um, but there's still some cool stuff in here. Um, there's a sacred monkey forest. Uh, a temple. A temple. There's, a trivia, there's some trivia about Indonesia. This is as much as I've ever looked into this book. And there's some about snacks, and there's some about a volcano. You get the picture, kind of. Thank you. So, here, putting all the paperwork aside, Cactus is now with us. Blizz is annoying me. Tony's creeping. I'm creeping. Thinking he can get some snacks in while we snack up here. The first thing is in a very expensive and exquisite looking package called Cassava Crackers. I have a feeling they won't taste good because the packaging is so fancy. I want to open this up without making a lot of noise, even though I don't think it's possible. This package is incredibly hard to open. It's hard to open. It really is hard to open. You know this make me give up cactus. It's hard to open. Hard to open. Bye cactus. I'm about to use your teeth. She's gonna scratch me. Oh, she's gonna jump down and scratch me. Oh, <laughs> the cat just scratched Erin. I saw her slide down your leg. That was terrible. That's hilarious. That's not hilarious at all. Nope. Alright, give me the bag. I'm gonna open it up with my teeth. Off camera. Oh my goodness, it's bad. Do you want to stop? No. <laughs> That's a bad cat scratch. It's kind of funny though. It's not. You knew what was going to happen to you. I was trying not to let it happen, but... Okay. So this is the cassava cracker. I think they're going to be good. It is good. It's, it's black pepper. It tastes like a, um, a peppered onion. It's like a pepper onion. I oh, know, yeah. Dang your leg. It's bloody. <laughs> it's bloody. Oh, I'm sorry. It's good though. I just like this. So the cassava crackers are a winner. Her leg is bloody. That's not funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm not laughing. Jaggung Presto. It's Presto corn. What, what is pressing? You've heard of this before? No, but it looks like popcorn, so I think it's just popcorn. Okay, and it actually has a little slit so I can tear it for the Jaggun Presto. Looks good. Oh. Cool. And there's a two bunnies riding on an um, air of corn on here. I guess it could be cool if that's what you're into. Okay, let's try this. This stinks. Open the package up. It's probably like corn nuts. You like corn nuts? 
First of all, don't ever say corn nuts to me ever again. I've corn nuts are wonderful. I've never ever heard of corn nuts. My stomach gas stations. See? These things are trash. Nah. These it's are just like corn nuts. They're trash. That's what it is, it's corn. Okay, it's corn, but it's trash. And corn nuts is good. It's trash. They're a little burnt tasting though. But I like burnt stuff. Yeah, you do, you like trash. You're not ready to move on, apparently. I am. From the corn nuts. Okay. Next we got the bang bang white. <laughs> bang bang white. <laughs> That's how Elijah was born. Sort of. <laughs> sort of right. <laughs> that is a sort of. Sort of. That is a sort of. Circumstance of this birth from a shroud of the mystery. <laughs> um, and this what do you expect from the bang bang white? It's a white bar of bang bang. Just like me. Oh. Oh, is this a white Kit Kat? With coconut. Mm. It's awesome. This is really good. It tastes like everything else with coconut in it. I like the white bang bang. Why the white bang bang? For the white bang bang? I mean the last piece of my white bang bang. That's actually pretty good. You don't like it? It's alright. It's, it's pretty much a Kit Kat. With coconut. I don't like coconut. You don't like coconut? Not really, no. Unless it's a pina colada type thing. Next thing is vanilla layer cake. Now, I'm already suspicious of this because it's called a, it's called layer cake. And you turn it this way and I'm like, how many layers can it possibly be in this little packaging? Three. You think three? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it can't be, it can't be two things we call layer, can it? Is there at least three? Is there a layer rule? I don't know. I don't believe it to begin with. It looks like a complete and utter mistake. I like pistachio, probably this wonderful. This looks like if you were to rip your mattress open, what it would be. <laughs> it's memory film. <laughs> it's incredibly soft. It doesn't taste like nothing. It tastes like preservatives. Um, I kind of like it though. It's too soft. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly soft. It's good. It's better than the coconut thing. No, it wasn't better than coconut. Thing. It's it's a, it's a layer cake. Okay. Here's something that. And they, all these things are made by this rabbit company called Don Cachella. What is it, Don Cachella? Don Cachin. Do a Kalinchi? Do a Kalinchi code. Um, all of them are made by this. And this right here, these are like wafer rolls. Now, I don't expect these to taste too much different than those Pepperidge Farm rolls. It says they're Choco Banana. And if you like Choco Banana. That's us. It, yeah, and if you're like me and you shop at the Dollar Tree, ain't no Pepperidge Farm sticks, but they got some of their own brand stuff in there. And this tastes pretty much the same. So, oh man. This is how they get the best. Wonderful. Oh, they're individual wrappers, which is cool. So we each get a chocolate stick a piece. Choco banana stick. Choco. Ew, it stinks. Oh, it stinks. Oh, it smells good. It, smells, know, it like smells like banana laffy taffy. And which are the best. Banana laffy taffies are a complete and utter garbage. No, they're the best. Banana now is a complete and utter garbage. No. Banana. Banana flavor, flavor anything is wonderful. Besides banana is complete and utter garbage. Mm. I might catch a lot of hate for that. Some people love banana mm -hmm. stuff. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You'll hate it. Yep, it's trash. Yeah, eat my trash. <laughs> Not eating those again. Those will go to the missus and to the. I'm turning it into a circle. Not right now. There's always something going on with that kid. Okay, we have uh, Yuppie noodles. Now, I saw, when you look in the package, like there's an egg and noodles, but I think it's like, is it, it looks like it might be like a gummy egg and noodles. So it might be like a like Airheads Extreme type thing. You take a piece of the egg. Is 
Yeah, she okay. Yeah, like typical gummy candy. And then there's this noodle. Mm. The noodle definitely tastes like an Airheads Extreme. If you ever had an Airheads Extreme, it just tastes like that. Not too impressive. It just tastes like gummy stuff. It's like um, Sour Patch. That's what it tastes like Sour Patch. Now we have our also goody yummy yums bag. That's everything. Oh. I know we're breezing through these things. We gotta get a new pastime. This is a better uh, package than the last one. Well, that's package we're broken into too. Mm -hmm. Information and details. Okay. So in this pack, in this yums thing, I guess you can take these. Guava candies? Huh? I think guava candies. Like last time. It says, Ew, this is called melon milk. They have a lot of jokes that can be made from something called melon milk. But I won't make any of those jokes. And we have something else called, you know, show them the melon milk. It's got a cow on it. Yeah. See? Melon milk. Makes sense. And we have Goulias. Goulas. Goulias. Goulas. Goulas. Which one's first? Your poor leg. I know. <laughs> it probably burns, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> she's just like, see, she. this is how she's different from me. She'll just sit there and endure the pain, and you won't know that she's in pain. Mm -hmm. Me, I want to turn the camera off. I want to, like, went down to the first aid kit, and just like, nah. I don't care. <laughs> wait, wait, which one are you eating first? Melon milk. Okay, I guess I'll do the melon milk first, too. Melon milk looks good. I get it open. Huh? I can't get it up. Oh, there we go. The melon milk is delicious. The dog is staring at me. He's always staring at you. He thinks he wants to feed himself. And we don't. We feed him his food. What else does he eat your rocks? Your pebble food. They're not bad. That's weird. It tastes milky a little bit, right? A little bit. It tastes milky. It's melon milk. Okay. And the last one we have to try is the the Goulias. What do you think of the Goulias? Oh, I was trying to read it. No, I can't. It's the more riveting content of us opening wrappers. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I can't open my Goulias. My Goulias has been opened. My eighth gate of Goulias. Have you had your gate of Goulias open? Now this looks like candy from the wild, wild west. Something that may have existed about 20 years ago when they were still making salt water taffy. What is that? The wild west, 20 years ago, with salt water taffy. Yeah. None of that makes any sense. That's still like, that's still like parts of Texas. You've never been to Texas. Yeah, but all my dudes got locked up in there. I used to run with them. Mm, this tastes like trash. It tastes like salt. It's kind of weird. It's more than kind of weird. It's not good. I don't hate it. I hate it. This tastes like butterscotch mixed with root beer candy. No, it mixed doesn't. with lemon candy. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it does. Mixed with salt. <laughs> I kind of like it. Where's a little magic pocket? This thing. Oh yeah, we can look at the paper and see exactly what it was. I ain't eating no more of that. I can have that one back. Thank you, that Goulia. It's tamarind candy. Oh, that's why I like tamarind. Who was tamarind and where did you meet him? I'm not gonna answer you. Tamarind? What, is that a place? No, it's a fruit. You can read about it right here. Apples, oranges, grapes, right there. <laughs> melons. It does not very worldly. Peaches, apricots. Oh, peaches don't oh, want to. a killer. Yeah, she definitely did. Don't let her back on you. Yeah. Give me your cactus. Well, that was a smoke junk box. It was unexpiring. Unexpiring. Uninspiring. No, it was pretty good. What was good was the cassava. 
Banana candy is just trash. I don't like banana candy. The gummy was what you expected to be. Fuck that bitch. And I liked her burnt corn nuts, which by on its name alone, I think is trash. I would never eat anything called burnt corn nuts. Um the ghoulias, she liked the ghoulias, and she's still eating her ghoulias. I on the other hand, the melon milk was good. I didn't like that. Your face. Melon milk was great. Well you hurt my my scratch. <laughs> What did I do to your scratch? Your elbow was on it. Mm, sorry. Okay. Well, that's all for this week. And this was a young box from Indonesia. Kek is in the background lamenting her time with Aaron because she sliced her leg in half. Blizz is waiting to go outside, but it's raining. And I don't know what to do next. The cat butt. Yeah, cat butt is in the air. Well, until next time, folks. Stay good, stay good, stay good.